Hello guys, it's Peter from PS Sound and um, in this short video I'm going to do a little test. I don't know whether any, anyone has ever done it, I'm, sh I'm sure well someone has done it, but whether um, took a video of it. But basically, you can see a beautiful hybrid audio Unity 2 inch driver there in factory location. Firing up, firing up onto the windscreen. But this is the factory grill above it. At least the cutout, as you can see, is lined up fairly well. It's kind of pretty much above the driver. But still, you know, it restricts quite a lot. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to cut all the inside out of this plastic. I, I leave pretty much only the, the outer edge so it can clip back and then pull speaker cloth above it so it will still look stock but then I'm gonna measure now with the grill in place what the response is from um, listening position and then after the modifications to this grill what it measures to see whether the top end improves and how much this thing really restricts the response So, I just had a quick measurement and I, I placed the mic uh, onto the passenger side. Oh, it's a bit dark, you can hardly see, but basically it's stuck in between the, the headrest and the seat. Um, so it's going to stay there. We can, we can use it as a reference point because if I hold it in my hands, if you use an RTA mic, you know exactly that, you know, it changes every single inch movement changes what you see from the response so when people say oh use a mic i know how to use it then yeah sure um i'm, I'm not crazy when it comes to rta and, and using a mic um i just rather want to see uh, major problems after that most of the times i tune cars by ear but for now Let's say that we now we measure the system uh, with the grills in place. Um, these this is five dB scale now. What you see, so there are slight issues around there, down in between hundred and two hundred ish. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. What I see there, there's a slight peak above eleven twelve k, but it's. It's very, very cool to see it tweeter less, uh, you know, from a two-inch driver, but why wouldn't it do it? Um, so I'm going to take now the grills out, modify them, drop them back in, and then I remeasure it. And then we will see whether whether it shows any any difference, but we mustn't forget it's all measured from the same point. So now you think that this is the reference response of the system. It is just a single point measurement from the passenger side. So take it as you want it. Um, but now it's I think it's good enough to see the difference what happens after the changes of the grill. Alright, so you can see now what happened here. All of that was taken out from the grill. Um, a bit of old glue, speaker cloth. And now it's going back to the car. Okay, so let's stop this pink noise craziness. So now I remeasured twice, um, but both measurements are pretty much the same. So let's see what the difference is. We can definitely see difference over there at the top end. So maybe zoom onto it a bit more, and then it's easier to see. So let's start from all the way down. The red is um, 
with the factory grill <coughs> and the green is after the modification so I don't think that was a difference by the grill because the widebands only play from like 350 Hertz up so let's have a look at it from over there so at 500 Hertz we can see a healthy raise in between well that's 61 and a half and that's 64.2 so nearly 3 dB more at, at 500 620 600 Hertz range um, that's 58 that's 16 and a half so two and a half so in between yeah the 450 and 650 700 it it raised the good two and a half three db over there then slight change over there i wouldn't think that's um something that we really have to talk about but the major difference is from here from four kilohertz and up you can all see guys that that's a massive raise in the response down there that's 57 and a half to nearly 61 and a half it's 4 db raise at around 5 kilohertz in between four and a half and five and a half and all along it's a good three three and a half eight kilohertz that's 50 59 and that's 62 so good 3 db 10 kilohertz 60 and a half and that's nearly 65 so yeah somewhere three three and a half somewhere 4 db raise you can see that it was definitely worth to do that because in order to get enough top ends out of uh out of these two inch drivers they needed a very slight um, boosting on the top end above 8 kilohertz so now that the grill was modified we have more than enough top end coming out of them so it means that now it can be retuned needs less eq in and it's going to sound uh, way more natural because it you know you don't have to apply so much eq in so well here's a little test and it shows good results so i think we can call it a uh, successful test right it's thursday night the sky is shimmering much of voices in the air streets are crowded something's happening there are people everywhere One, two, three trains Before I start to dance It's not going to end as it was planned Four or five more songs Until I drift away Voice, I think I want to stay There's definitely way more top end now. It sounds actually now a bit too much. That top end, the hi hats, and top end of her voice is now just overpronounced. Um, but it's cool because then we can take all that EQ in out, and it's just gonna do that top end nice, nice and easily. So, guys, I hope you you like this video and uh, learnt a little bit about it. And yeah, feel free to comment guys. I'm, I'm interested what you think or what you've done. Um, if you've done anything similar in the past and what results you've got with, with those changes. So yeah, see you on the next one.